Okay, we're now going to look at the exam question from June 2014. So previously on the exam question, you would have done, um, and this uh, paper is actually on my YouTube channel, but this last bit um, wasn't done just yet, but it is now. So previously, what you would have done was you would have produced the report, okay, calculated at a runtime, which you should be familiar with now, and rather than complete another report, it's asking you to complete a form. So first of all, it says produce an extract from the data which selects only these activities containing snow or ice located in Scotland, where the type is frill, shows only the field's course code, level and activity in this order, and sorts the activity into ascending alphabetical order. Okay, so we're going to do this now. If you want to follow this, if you go onto Moodle and you find the database um, form section, this exact database that I'm using will um, be in there for you so you can actually do these activities and it's already been um, had the new fields added, it's already been imported and so on. Okay, so right, what we're going to do is first of all, we've got J14 activities, but we're going to create a query. So we go to query design, as you know, add, close, bring all the fields down. Okay, right, so firstly, let's take a look at what they want. So where's my exam paper? Oh, here it is. So produce an extract from the data, those containing snow or ice. Right, so if um, any activities containing snow or ice is going to be a wildcard query. So like, and you open up the um, uh, stars, type in snow, and the next one's an or, so just go to the criteria below, put in like, ice, there we go. Now I'm going to run the query. So all the activities containing snow or ice should have come up, but there's a problem. Okay, so we need to take a look and see what that problem is. And the problem is, is that you probably noticed I put it in the wrong place, course code. There we go, never mind. Okay, so I'm just going to cut and paste that. There we are, probably already spotted that, didn't you? Right, there we go. And here we are, so you can take a look, see snow, ice, snow, ice, 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 snow, ice, and so on. So that's, that's actually worked out fine. Okay. Right, next thing. So we're going to go back to our query here and go back to our exam paper. So located in Scotland. Now this is where I've had problems before. For some reason this hasn't worked. So I'm just going to type in Scotland. I'm going to run that. And you can see for some reason Bristol Island and all that comes up. Now um, this may be because um, I've got 2016 and if you've watched my previous videos you'll see that um, 2016 has had problems with it. Now if this does happen to you in your exam what I would suggest you do is filter okay and just simply select Scotland okay and now we're going to go back and I think this next uh, thing I previously had a problem with as well so um, where the type is frill so activity type here and just simply type in frill okay and you can see again two more come up so I'm just going to filter that and press OK. Right, let's read the rest of the question before I save the query. Okay, so it says shows only field course code level activity in this order. Okay, so um, you can always add those into the form later and sort the activity into ascending alphabetical order. So what I would do is I would do that here because you probably can't do that in the forms. So um, activity needs to be sorted into ascending order. So there we go. Now I'm going to run this, and you can see that that is correct, that's okay. So I'm going to filter these again. But like I said, I don't think this is going to happen in, in your um, exam, okay? Um, I think it's just, I have 2016. So now I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save this as my form, okay? So I'm going to press OK. Now. I'm going to close this. <coughs> right. So I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go to form wizard. Now make sure you select the correct query as you would as if it's your report. Right. So if you remember, there were certain 
um, criteria that they wanted. So it says, shows course code level and activity in this order. So course code, level, and activity. So as you can see, what I previously did before, these forms are not going to be as big and won't take up more than an A4 page. So we're going to go to next, and I'm going to select data sheet. Okay, now the reason why I'm selecting data sheet is I've read on ahead. It says here, save the data into a form which can be imported into a document that you saved in step 29. Now, if we go up to step 29, if you've done this previously, okay, you can see here that it's a Word document. Okay, so this is going to be put into a Word document. Right, and then, so it says, import the data into the document where the paragraph ends, even the most demanding thrill seeker. So what they want it to look like is, if you've got to import it into a form, is, is that they want it to look like a table. Okay, so that's why I'm selecting data sheet view, or I could select tabular. Okay, so I might select tabular actually. So I'm going to go to next and finish. And here we are, we can see all our um, activities here, okay, and in the way they want. So that's our form saved, and you can see it's here. Right, so I'm going to close this. And it's already saved. Right, I'm going to select this form now, and now I'm going to go to external data. And what I'm going to select this time is I'm going to, I'm not going to go with a text file. I'm going to go with a Word file, okay, because the Word one works better, as we could see. Right, and make sure you know where you save it. So mine's going to go into Word training, where I've previously saved stuff that you've seen on the video. And I'm going to press OK. And it's done. It's exported. Okay. So, right, I'm going to close this. And close this. And I'm going to pick this up. Now... If I go into documents, and here we are, all my stuff's here in Grand Canaria, um, 11, and word training. Right, and you can see here it's form, okay? Right, so you can see that it should look like a table. Yes, it does, okay? Right, so what you could do with that is just simply select it, then you can right-click it, okay and just simply copy it and then you can put it into any document that you want okay right so um oh, where we are layout i'm going to put this into landscape so then we can see the whole thing okay so you can make it smaller just by resizing it from the corners here and then when you copy this so when you go copy like this and you put this into another Word document, it's going to fit perfectly well. So always resize from the bottom here, okay, to make it bigger or to make it smaller. But try not to make it anything distorted, okay? Right, so practice that well in advance of your exam, okay? It may come up. I've only seen this come up in simply this exam paper, so it could well come up in your exam. Okay, good luck.